In this video, we're gonna talk about GitHub issue labels. And that might sound boring to you, but I'm really excited for your project to get not only more contributors, but a more visibility on GitHub and how the importance of labels are to your issues. Not just to add good first issue, which we're gonna talk about because a lot of good first issues are not really good first issues, but we're gonna talk about adding points. Yes, labels that have points to your issues. Before we get started, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and while you're down there, subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell button to get notified every time I post a video and go live about open source, web dev, freelancing, digital nomad, all that great stuff. So behind me, I've got one of our Eddie Hub projects. If I go to the issue section, you'll see we've got issues and we have issues with labels from low priority to bug and to points. I do really want to focus on the points specifically in this video. I do have other videos on how to create labels, also on how to get these labels created via GitHub Action, literally copy and paste, so don't let the GitHub Action word scare you. But I wanna focus on the points. I think the points are really important because there could be different types of good first issues. There could be a good first issue for person A that might not be a good first issue for person B. As I learned from Mikhail yesterday on our Twitter space, aren't always good first issues because I don't have enough information on it, but also a good first issue for different people means different things. This is why we use points, and this probably can be improved further, and I'd love your feedback in the comments below. But let me explain what I mean by points. These aren't points that you get by completing an issue. This is not a gamification point. This is story points from the Agile methodology. So story points. And let me give you an example. We have two issues here. So we have 1123 and 1118. And the one above has one story point and the one below has five story points. So what that tells me is that the one with five story points is kind of five times harder, more complex, and a few other variables as well than the one story point. Let me give you an example. I would rather have five issues that have one point each than one issue that is five points. Because that issue that has five points is considerably bigger. It considerably has more unknowns. It has more risks. So it's not about time. One does not mean that it takes one hour and the five means it takes five hour. It is not about time. That's really important because time also means different things to different people. People would go at different speeds. So the importance is it's the unknown, the risk. And by having more issues at a lower number, there is a lower risk involved. That's why when uh, there are issues that maybe have 13 points or even eight points, I try and do this. I try and break it down. If I see a 13 pointer, I definitely want to break it down. Can I make it into, you know, three, four, five issues that are smaller in size? Therefore, we can get value to the project quicker and there's less responsibility on that one ticket and maybe that one person who's doing that ticket. So my goal in doing these points, like I said, is not to get you more gamification points. You're going to get green squares for raising issues and contributing with pull requests but it's to people can look at these issues and if there are multiple issues we have good first issue label they can also pick one with the right amount of points that suits themselves so maybe if they did a three pointer last week and this week they want something more challenging they might go to a five pointer but if they don't have that much time, they, they might go, you know what, I'll just pick a one or two pointer for this day or this week. The pointing system usually uses Fibonacci sequence, so you get a bit of spread. So you have one, two, three, five, eight, 13, 21. And yes, it goes higher than that, but to be honest, Anything about the 13 is quite scary. It is important to try and get the same group of people pointing these issues up. Therefore, there is some consistency because what you think might be a three pointer, someone else might think it's a two and someone else might think it's a five and you usually take an average or try and agree on a number. But to someone else outside the project, they might not know the complexity of that number, but they still got the relativity of a number being easier or harder. And that's, I think, the most important here. Let me know what you think about story points for open source projects, and if that's gonna make it easier and more straightforward for people to get started. I know it is not easy to contribute to projects to get started, but hopefully we can make it better so you can get more involved and you can help other people to get involved. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And we also have a link to 
our Discord, I wanna to chat to you between live streams and videos so we can get you all involved in open source. You can upskill in technical skills and your soft core skills, and also so you can get the job, clients, and money that you deserve. I'll see you in Discord. I can't say that word. Methodology. Me me meth methodology. Methodology. Apparently there's a D in there, so thank you. Don't ask me how to spell it, but thank you. <laughs>